All right, everybody, so welcome back to another video. Uh, so today I have a little bit of a, um, something that I'm gonna show you guys. So basically this is just kind of another layout update and how the layout is doing and what I've been doing for the past couple of weeks or a week and a half, I think it's been, so I last uploaded. But yeah, uh, uh, sorry guys, I'm just kind of tired because I just got done doing this stuff, but yeah. So first off, uh, the dimensions are still the same, 11 by 10, so 10 this way, 11 this way. And so the table hasn't changed. What has changed is what you guys can see here is I added some foam. This is half inch foam, pink foam. So, and the uh, reason why I got half inch foam is because it's, well, number one, it was pretty cheap. Uh, Foam, pink foam nowadays is like extreme, like really expensive. Uh, and also I don't, uh, it's, my terrain is just gonna be mostly just flat. There's gonna be a few like uh, little small rivers or uh, ponds and, and all that stuff. But, and then also there's gonna be a little bit of a uh, hilly area too. So that's one thing. And another thing is that I've added some fascia onto this whole entire uh, layout here. So this fascia is about 12 inches uh, this way wide. Uh, and each section is about four feet. And I actually got lucky because uh, actually, these are all four feet section, four foot sections. And the last piece conveniently uh, ended up here. So I didn't have to cut, uh, uh, cut anything uh anything else so yeah and then also i've uh, painted the outside legs black as you can see only the outside ones the inside ones as you can see over there there's one over there that uh that's still unpainted but just the outer ones you you can't really see the the uh inner inner legs really so i just painted on black uh the Paints that I used was just this dollar store paints. Now this one's dirty. I actually have a new one here. So actually this was a recommendation from uh, Top Railroad. Shout out to Top Railroad. Uh, but yeah, pretty much that's what I painted the uh, legs with. I think I might go back because uh, a little bit, a little bit got scratched off while was putting on the fascia here but yeah pretty much uh that's what i've been kind of doing uh you know that's pretty much just put all the foam and if you can see this all this junk up uh, on top is that's because i uh, put this foam just this morning and it's still drying out with the glue that i put in uh the glue that i put in was just this this uh liquid nail stuff which is pretty common to use and then I also bought some all-purpose uh, compound here just to kind of make the roads and and uh, sidewalks and all that stuff, parking lots. But yeah, uh, this is, and as you can see, uh, this whole track mess over here, uh, that's actually just going to change. This was just the original track plan that I had when I just had, when I didn't have the foam on top or the fascia. I mean, it's going to change. I think on this corner, it's just going to kind of stay the same. There's really no way of kind of changing the track plan for that because the curve just kind of goes to here. And I can't, I don't know if it's really all that convenient uh, or, or safe or whatever to put a track here because I'm going to be putting foam on these curved pieces, kind of like this triangle area on all four sections over there, over there, and over here. And I don't know, sorry, I, I don't know if uh, if I put a piece of foam here, it might just fall off, but uh, we'll see. And yeah, uh, this might be uh, just kind of a yard area, as you can see. I got my little yard office, bought it at a train show a little bit, well, a little bit uh, back. So, uh, yeah, and then just kind of goes around here. Uh, this yard will actually be a lot smaller. It's not going to be like these two or three big tracks. It's kind of doing 
uh, going all the way to the end. It's pretty much just being half of my layout. And it's pretty much gonna start from here and it's gonna go out this way. I'm still, and if you guys are questioning if I'm gonna use the Kato track, I am gonna use the Kato track uh, and I might ballast it. Uh, the ballast that's on here uh, already looks pretty good. Might just add some additional ballast or something, uh, but I'm not gonna glue it down. So that's just to kind of keep the track clean. So, and then, uh, and also, if I ever want to deconstruct this layout, I pretty much just marked all the screw screws over here. Uh, and whenever I want to take something out, then I can just locate the screw by these points and I can just stab the, uh, the impact drill or something or drill uh, into there. And I'll just fill and the screw will just come right out. So, yeah. And this over here will just kind of be like a, I don't know, kind of a flat land over here. I know there's, again, there's a bunch of junk here. Uh, and over here, this is going to be my town area. So this whole seg this whole segment over here is going to be the town area. And then over here, that's going to be the, well, there's going to be an overpass going over here. And, and right next to this, I actually got a few buildings here. So I got this one over here. This one's just kind of a warehouse. Um, you can actually, let's see here. You can actually rearrange it in different ways. Uh, I'm not gonna include this little spire thing. That just kind of looks a little off from the rest of the building, but I got this for fairly cheap at a train show. And this guy, uh, it's a little, it says variety store. It's kind of a modular building. Bachman Spectrum, and this one over here is Pro 2000. And I actually got this guy over there by my local hobby shop. This one was a concrete crane elevator. Uh, and you can see the dimensions, 13 and a half by nine and a half. That's probably gonna go somewhere over there. Um, I think I'm gonna try to get somewhere to put the grain elevator because it's gonna be right next to the yard and that'll just be better uh, so yeah, and then I'm going to get some more buildings in the future, like houses for the town area, and also over here where the door is at, I'm going to uh, modify the bridge. Right now, what I used was just this piece over here, but I didn't have all this stuff on top of it, like the foam, and the fascia, and all that. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to cut it like this. And then I'm gonna add a piece of foam and then just, um, I don't know, add some like small sides over here so the trains won't fall off or, or anything like that. So I know it's kind of looks a little, a little bad or I might just, if I have the time, just custom build some sort of truss bridge. But uh, I think I, I don't really have the experience for that, but yeah, I'll try to just do a bridge over here. It's not that long. It's probably like about maybe two and a half, three feet. So three feet long. So yeah. So that's just what I've been doing so far. And if I haven't uploaded for a while, I'm sorry guys. That's because I've been busy trying to finish up this uh, first or uh, yeah, first uh, year of college. I just actually finished that up. And I'm just pretty much just searching for a job and all that stuff. So uh, pretty much just life is getting in the way. So I haven't had much time to run some trains or uh, even or even do this kind of stuff. I kind of just did all this in like maybe three days. Uh, it's kind of a small layout, and I hope it. I hope I can just put some more like scenery and trees and all that kind of stuff green and. Uh, but yeah, that's just what I've been up to. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit short right now. That's because I got uh, job training tomorrow and, and all that stuff, so I gotta get up early. Right now it's kinda, kinda late. So yeah, the, I just wanna, I just want to upload this little uh, quick layout update. And uh, if I get some more uh, updates and all that stuff, I'll, uh, I'll make sure to have, you know, something to actually, uh, uh, do a video on and not just you know a little stuff 
here and there. But yeah, uh, anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this little uh, layout update. And uh, I'm actually proud of what I've uh, actually done because this is the first time I've ever done some fascia and put foam on top of this. So I, I think I did a pretty good job. So yeah, it looks just as good as like other, you know, huge layouts out there and all that stuff. But yeah, uh, anyways, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, like, and comment your thoughts down below. And yeah, I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye. Yeah.